if you want to know how i went from this to this without makeup without heat under 15 minutes then keep on watching this video i love doing makeup but not every day so these are some of the things that i do to look better and feel better in 15 to 20 minutes i wasn't feeling my best on this particular day it was a bad hair day a bad skin day my under eyes looked darker than usual because of lack of sleep and my lips looked so pale i basically looked like i died a few days ago so i thought this was the perfect day to sit down and film this video so let's start start by analyzing your face like what is it that you want to change about it like in my case, I want a nose job, some lip fillers, an eye lift, some cheek fillers. No, no. Just, kidding. Just, kidding. Just, kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. So in my case, my eyebrows have fully grown out and they look a bit droopy right now. I have a pimple here that I want to conceal. Skin feels dry and my lips are dry to another level. Like I can't even laugh or smile. I don't know why I am stretching out my lips like that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> my lips are in a really bad state. They look like I have concealer on, so pale, so crusty because I was on isotretinoin. I'm going to start by plucking my eyebrows first. I stopped getting my eyebrows done like six years ago. I have only gotten my eyebrows done three times and each time those ladies destroyed my eyebrows. So this is something that I've been doing since the past few years myself. This step also makes my eyebrows look a little more dense. Next, I'm going to start shaving my skin. Uh, I've applied a gel based moisturizer before shaving and I'm going to use the same razor to clean and shape my eyebrows a little more. After this, just do your basic skincare. I'm using a serum and a basic moisturizer. Avoid anything with irritating ingredients like actives and fragrance. This is the Dot & Key Moisturizer. It's really simple. It has ceramides and it's fragrance free. I'm gonna give my eyebrows some definition. I don't really consider this as makeup. I have really light eyebrows so I personally hate skipping this step. But I know so many girls who have sparse eyebrows and they don't like using any eyebrow product. So you can just use a brow gel and set them in place. I am using this Benefit Brow Pomade and slightly fill the end and the start of my eyebrow and rub off the excess product. Curling lashes is so underrated. I'll never understand how people just skip this step. I like curling them at the bottom first, then at the center and then on top. I couldn't show this properly on camera but this just makes sure that your eyelashes look curled and not give them that angle which looks very unnatural. I know concealer is makeup but I'm not using it under my eyes. I'm only using it on this pimple mark. I was on my period and I got this unexpected pimple and it looked too dark. So I decided to use a concealer. I'm not going to use this concealer on the rest of my acne marks. I'm going to wait till it gets a bit sticky and then I'm going to blend it. I should have done this step before but I completely forgot. I scrub my lips by using Vaseline and a cloth and my lips look so much better already. After this, I'm going to apply some colored lip balm. This is the Nivea lip balm in the variant Berry Shine. I love this color. Use the same lip balm on cheeks and it adds this subtle glow on the face. I'm blow drying my hair on a cool setting but you can also use low heat. Air drying is anyway not good for your hair so. My hair has become really frizzy since the past three years. I don't know why but air drying isn't working for me anymore. It makes my hair even more frizzy. So I noticed that using a blow dryer even if it's on a cool setting, really helps me with my frizz and makes my hair look so much better. Now this looks good as it is, but here's something I like to do whenever I want to feel extra special. I partition my hair and twist them. Now I do this in many different ways to get different kinds of waves and curls. I usually do this overnight for tighter curls and waves, but here I kept my hair like this for 15 to 20 minutes. 
this is the quickest way to give your boring straight hair some bounce and that blow dried effect this looks so gorgeous especially if you have layered haircut i feel like any look is incomplete without a nice pair of earrings especially on non makeup days it creates a nice distraction and kind of frames your face Notice how my under eyes don't look dark anymore. I like leaving my acne marks as it is. I really don't mind these little imperfections. I honestly don't even feel like applying any makeup after doing these steps and it might look like a lot but it barely takes 15 to 20 minutes. Also, it's funny how these things dictate your mood. After doing this, I immediately felt so much better. And that's it. If you like this video then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.